Hello everyone, uh, welcome, welcome to this live event from our YouTube channel today. I'm uh, Marco Branzanti, I'm CTO in Axel Tech and I'm going to immediately introduce you to this live event directly to Simona which is in Dubai. Simona, can you hear me? Hi. Hi, yes, how are Marco, you? Yes, loud and clear. Hi. Yeah. Are Hi, you on everyone. vacation in Dubai? Yeah. <laughs> no, not really, actually. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very, I leave the nice word now to, to Simona. We will actually talk to you about this incredible event that we organized. I'm in Bologna. So Enrico Vaccari, which is our sales manager in Simona, uh, which Hello, is uh, are in Dubai uh, this morning, and uh, they will talk to you about this event. Go ahead, Simona. Hi, hi guys, welcome and welcome back everyone to yeah. the live event, which is really actually live because we are uh, connecting from uh, Dubai. Yeah, it's so true, it's true. We are in Dubai, it's finally. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, it's the first exhibition we are doing after two years. So thank you for everyone who is connecting with us today, for being with us. It's like to uh, have you here in, uh, in Dubai sure. from uh, uh, Capsa. <laughs> So today, Enrico, it is a, a, and Marco, of course, <laughs> it is really a, a, a very important day for Axel Tech. Yeah, it is. We come back to a live event, to an exhibition. Yeah. But also we are going to unveil yeah, it's a... some new product that is really going to be a, a groundbreaking product for the console, the console's market. Yeah. We... So... I would say we are very, very proud to take the, let's say, the uh, CapSat the chance, as the yes, chance, to the opportunity to announce and introduce the new line, the new uh, part of the family of the digital audio console. It has been a very important development for, for us so far. And uh, let's go, let's start. Yeah, let's start. Marco, so I would like you to, uh, first of all, show to all of our friends connecting with us today uh, the new two uh, products and if you can uh, just give us a brief introduction so which are basically the development that and, and what we learned from our experience with the oxygen 3000 which is our bestseller product at the moment yeah uh, so what we brought from that experience uh, in order to get a even higher level of quality and improvement for these new uh, two consoles. Very good, thank you Simona. So let's talk about our new products. Very exciting today. So of course you all know our Oxygen 3000, it's the best seller. It's a 10 fader digital audio console and uh, what we are introducing today is the Oxygen 1000 and the Oxygen 2000. So please Gianluca put them on air, let's show them. Uh, let's show the two consoles. Uh, here they are on the back. You see the Oxygen 3000. You know about that console. It's a very nice console with 10 feet, a lot of inputs, a lot of outputs. Uh, especially has a display um, directly on the front panel where you have your menu. And uh, in these four years of software development, we have improved the console so much. And so we packed them with a lot of features. And the nice thing the YouTube, is in the Oxygen 1000 and the Oxygen 2000, the, uh, which are, of, of course, a little smaller, a little cheaper. This is a uh, spoiler alert, but uh, uh, they're going to tell you exactly the price at the end of this presentation. Uh, we have the same DSP. So what does this mean? We have the same incredible digital quality as the 3000. And actually, we, even if they're smaller, we tried to keep those incredible features and Medio. incredible uh, uh, fu functionalities Medio, Medio. and Medio. we tried to keep them inside these smaller compact digital consoles so you get actually uh, the very in an incredible product. So let's talk about the consoles. Of course, we have Digital Broadcast Console DSP, same quality, digital, very nice. It's a compact factor. What does this mean? 
uh, like the 3000, it has connectors on the back, so it's uh, it's an all-in-one unit, okay? Uh, it has a lot of uh, RGB buttons on top, and that's one of, one of the things that, that people liked about our 3000. They can put the colors, and they can configure the console exactly as they want, but most of all, it gives you your value for money. Why? Well, uh, the, of course, we scale down the product uh, to attack, let's say, the smaller market for smaller radio stations, or maybe you you want just a console to keep in your uh, production control room or your recording room and so we made a six fader unit and a 12 fader unit which go into the family of the oxygen digital consoles and complete uh, the entire family very fast let's look at some uh, characteristics so as the 3000 we have I'm sorry Simona I'm sorry Simona please let's have a look at the main features of oh. the of the consoles okay, i think good. we also That's have good. a diagram or okay i uh, I, uh, I have a cue so i'm while uh, while i'm talking on maybe uh, okay. Zalika can show the console uh, what do we have first of all we have uh, the button, the A, B, source, fast, source, switcher buttons for each fader. And this is something we inherited from analog consoles, which was very handy. And we've also put it into the digital console, so, so it's actually very fast to switch between uh, one source and the other so even if you have a limited number of faders you can use those faders uh, at the best there's a new feature which we showed in a, uh, we, we, which we will show in a, in another video clip which is the source selection directly from the uh, fader knobs which is kind of interesting then of course like the old console that the 3000 console we have four buses plus one which is program sub aux aux one aux two and of course the pre-listen so we have four main buses exactly like the 3000 we have a near zero latency it's about 0 0.7 milliseconds from input to output so uh, practically it's a zero latency and 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 it, it, it get, because it is so uh, good quality DSP so this gives you an idea internal routing is a 48 times 48 channels and this gives you an idea even these small and compact consoles what they can do uh, and then we have the add-ons. In my opinion, it's one of the best things. It give, really gives you added value. We developed a remote control application. We developed a web interface configuration. And then we'll, maybe we have, if we have time, we'll show them. Of course, inside we have presets and snapshots like on the O3K, which is the Oxygen 3000 in short. And most of all, also, these small compact consoles, the 1000 and the 2000, have an HDMI connector, which gives you, you can connect your uh, TVs, uh, you can connect your monitor or your PC monitor, and you get your uh, console status display. This is one of the nicest features of the console, and you get those also in the 1000 and the 2000. As an option, we have the top box, which is the same model that we use for the 3000, which is kind of a nice option uh, to put in your studios. But most of all, and this is something very, very nice, we actually upgraded the Dante option on the 1000 and the 2000. So now, as an option, you can insert the Dante and it will give you eight stereo channels input and eight stereo channels output. And this is incredible, you know why? Well, imagine that the Oxygen 1000 is a six speeder co uh, uh, console, and if you put the Dante option, you get eight Dante inputs, and this gives you an idea that these are really now also IP consoles as well. I have no problems in defining the Oxygen 1000 and the 2000 as IP consoles as well. So you can imagine uh, th these are all the features that we try to pack in, uh, Simona. Yeah. And uh, Marco, uh, can we have uh, just a closer look to a very nice feature that was already embedded in the Oxygen 3000, but uh, it is also, of course, and comes for free. This is very important also to um, to tell to our friends. Um, it comes both with the Oxygen 1000 and 2000. Uh, so the remote controller. Can we have just a closer look uh, uh, to the GUI, maybe? 
Yeah, of course. Yeah. Here we have it. So here I have a normal computer. It's a Windows-based computer. And uh, a remote application for the oxygen is a Windows application. So you just install it. And the nice thing is you go under connection. Yes. Okay. Okay, just a second. We have a small technical issue here. I need to do a duplication. Uh, Gianluca Righi, which is our director, uh, I'm going to duplicate these displays. Just give me a second, and I think I'm ready. I'm going to go on with the presentation, and here you have it. So. <clears throat> So this is the uh, oxygen remoter application. Uh, the nice thing is it gives you a representation of the console, essentially uh, from any computer. You can do it from your office. You can do it from home. Uh, you can remote uh, control completely the console and do your production from wherever you want. Uh, it gives you the possibility, of course, to connect to the, to the console. So. Uh, so, uh, uh, and the nice thing, it has an internal browser, so what I'm showing right now is the ability of the console to actually look for any console which is on the network to determine the IP address, so this is really handy to find your console, and uh, once you're connected, this is what you get, and you can move around faders, and you can press buttons, and what you have is a real time, whenever I move a fader or I press a button, also on the console, I will see the buttons that, uh, that actually uh, lighten up, etc. The interesting thing is I have a setup section and from the setup section what I get are all the settings of the console so I can actually do exactly as if I was on top of the console I can do whatever settings that I want and uh, and uh, and actually do all the configuration and use the console remotely this re upper remoter not only works with the oxygen 3000 but is also compatible with the oxygen 1000 and the oxygen 2000 but I have some news, and I want to tell you about this. So the Oxygen 1000 is a six-fader six uh, console, and the Oxygen 2000 is a 12-fader console, but if you use the app remoter, you get additional eight virtual faders. What are virtual faders? Actually, these are faders which do not are not physical. They're not on the console, but you can extend them. And so what happens is the Oxygen 1000 becomes a six physical plus eight virtual faders. And the Oxygen 2000 becomes a 12 physical plus eight virtual faders. This is with the remote application. So as you see, we really wanted to take advantage of all the power of the DSP, even if we did not put physical faders on top. Since the DSP is so good and so powerful, what we did is we actually added this feature directly from the remote, uh, Oxygen Remote application. That's great. So now, Enrico, uh, would you like to focus on which are, do you think, between those um, all the features that Marco just uh, explained to us, and thank you again, Marco, uh, for that. Um, which are, do you think, the most important features that uh, will be really, that, that will make the difference on the market uh, for these two consoles? And to whom uh, would you like to suggest this, uh, yeah. this new, pro this new uh, product? I would say the range of features that Marco just described are definitely not available in uh, even bigger and higher uh, size consoles. So the, so the integration between hardware and software now gives us the freedom to, to add a lot of advantages in terms of surface controls, physical and remote, and I would say now the, the options of the Dante interface really extend the capability of the, co of the console extremely and allows it to achieve a very extremely modern architecture uh, thanks to the Dante I.O. Uh, as we said before, 8 stereo input, 8 stereo output. So it's definitely an IP console. Compact shape, so compact size, so it's really, let's say, saves a lot of, a lot of space and it's application. It can be uh, integrated into, I would say, from, of course, on-air and production studios. Uh, not only for journalists, uh, even in bigger ecosystems. So, despite let's say the, the compact shape and the uh, market, the target of the consoles, this can be easily integrated into large uh, architecture 
where the, the audio override beats probably yeah. mandatory nowadays. Of so course. you can extend those architecture with very cost effective and we will go through the price at the very yeah, end definitely. which is the i think yeah, uh, the main focus the main focus apart the all that marco already described comes with a for a very 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 small price and just to complete the scenario for the possible application it can also be extended to the uh, to the obi van for example yeah so i would say on the market as far as i know on the market, there is no an equivalent solution at, with these features and even extending to the audio compressors, uh, IQ equalizations, and remote control capability. Also, most of the settings that Marco showed us before are available through the web. So not only through the uh, remote application, but also via web, you can configure and uh, set your console. Okay. Okay. Guys, let me, I, guys so, let me. I, yeah, sorry. I would like. Go on, yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, I would like to focus yeah, on like inputs focus and outputs. So we give. Output. We finish the pres technical presentation of the product. If you allow me, um, I would like to show you the back also of the of the of the mixer, so we get an idea of the connectors. Here you have it. And the, so, what are the differences with the 3000? Of course, we talked about faders. 3000 has 10 faders, and uh, Oxygen 1000 has 6 faders, Oxygen 2000 has 12 faders. As far as inputs and outputs are concerned, we, on the 1000 and the 2000, we have three microphone inputs, and these are balanced inputs, and they also have phantom power, and we have an internal parametric equalizer on this, but also dynamic compressor and expander on this. And this is one of the features, I mean, you actually buy a digital console mostly for this reason, because you don't have to put external compressors and expanders, and you have them built in in your microphones, which allow you to get to have incredible audio quality. As far as stereo inputs are concerned, we have four stereo inputs, okay, four stereo inputs, and then we have uh, four stereo inputs, and then we have, like in the Oxygen 3000, yes, we have a built-in telephone hybrid. On the 1000 and 2000, you also get your telephone hybrid. And this probably makes it really nice also for the journalist, you know, to, if he needs to make some interview, etc. a small compact console where has a telephone hybrid, it's really nice. Not only we have a Bluetooth audio interface, so this means that you can use your mobile phone and connect it in your Bluetooth, and you can not only send music from your phone, but you can actually have a bidirectional conversation with your favorite uh, voice over IP application. And then what do we have? Telco interface. So if you want to interface it to external telephone hybrid, we have one dedicated built-in telco, but you can also transform your stereo inputs into mono inputs and get your telco and add the telco if you need more telco on that. And of course we have one digital output, which is uh, AAS uh, EBU, so you get that, uh, the, that digital output on the XLR connector. And uh, of course we have USB audio also inside like the oxygen 3000 so you just connect your two cables and you get two audio cards which are inside the, the, the console you connect it to the computer and you can use your automation software or your recording software and you don't need to add any additional card inside the computer that's very very handy that's one of the nicest things that were appreciated on the oxygen 3000 so we left them also in the 1000 and the 2000 and last but not least I have to say the Dante option. The Dante option with eight stereo inputs and eight stereo outputs really surclasses any other console on the market with these characteristics and really brings it to another level. So we're talking about small digital console with all your inputs, all your uh, options, plus IP console as well inside if you need to put it in a high audio over IP environment. Great. Thank you. Thank you again, Marco. Thank you. Thank you for this nice presentation. Uh, I think that uh, it was really smooth also. So thanks uh, to, uh, as always, uh, I would like to thank uh, Gianluca Righi, who is our director, and yeah. Stefano Grego, that is the organizer uh, of, of these events. And uh, of course, we didn't mention it, but if you have any questions, anything, you can always press on the uh, little bell here above 
so it's nice because we have some invasion uh, yeah. through and through. <laughs> we are live and so yeah, we are sorry very, if it's very, very much the environment live. is kind of noisy. <laughs> we have I hope all the features of an exhibition in, in this live Live is today. live. Uh, so now, Enrico, let's, let's focus on what we like the most. So let's talk about prices. What would you like to tell? Uh, of course, if you... First of all, I would like to tell to our friends that if you need an offer, you can always refer to our resellers and our distributors all over the world. They are already aware. Being informed and aware of the prices, of the options and everything. But just to give you an idea, because I think it will be more than enough, just mention the range of price for these two uh, okay. new items. And then after the exhaustive uh, explanation of the features and all the capability of those two small consoles and compact, uh, let's say the, the latest topic is about the price. And I would say that Oxygen 1000 and Oxygen 2000 will go from 2,400 euro only up to 300, 2,000 euro. Yeah. So those are the, I would say, extremely competitive price Definitely. Uh, again, nothing on the market can com can be compared yeah. to such kind of complete range of features, and at the Very end, small, the price. Uh, Very compact. Uh, uh, and the price, price which is yeah. even more compact than the console. Than the console. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, of course, uh, uh, we we already mentioned it, but for the Dante options and other options, we will have another uh, range of price list we will have to add uh, those as an option and they need to be embedded at the uh, factory so if you need uh, the dante version please just add uh, on, but on our price versions. list you will be able to find the version with or without the options yes not only it, we also included some very nice uh, pre-wired and pre-cable adapters to adapt uh, RG45 to XLR. So yeah. those, the customers that are not able or they do or not they have the technical yeah. skill, they can buy the cable pre-designed and pre-wired yeah, straight from the factory. From us. That's great. Uh, so about the timing, I think that we will be um, able to open uh, some pre-order uh, in, in the next uh, weeks so if you are already interested and I think you definitely will be uh, just write to your sales um, uh, representative so maybe <laughs> me or Enrico or Ilaria uh, who is also here today with us uh, in Dubai and I would also like to thank her since she's taking care of all the customers that are visiting us uh, today, so thanks to my colleague Ilaria Malucelli too, and uh, of course uh, to my colleagues that are still in Bologna. So thank you to Cristiano Cinelli who is taking care by his own to of yeah. our <laughs> office today. So thank you again, guys. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, thank you, Stefano. Thank you, Gianluca. It's been a pleasure. Each thanks other to you. again later. <laughs> okay. So have a nice day and uh, thank you for being with us. Thank Bye. you. Do not have too we much fun in Dubai, okay? <laughs> we, we, we do our so. best. We try. We cannot <laughs> promise that. <laughs> thank you and bye-bye everyone. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye you guys. so much. Stay in our channel. Stay in our channel. Ciao.